This is a national Let's Learn About Butterflies Day collaboration hosted by Karina's Nail Designs. Because she loves butterflies so much, she asked us if we wanted to participate. Um, there will be a playlist down in the description box of all the other girls that participated, so please make sure you check them all out. I used the Gershon pink and purple jelly polish for the base. And my Beatles pink. And then I got this beautiful glitter from um, AliExpress. And this glitter was made by Maya's Manicures. It's gorgeous. It's got pink butterflies in there. It's got different colored butterflies in there. So, good excuse to use that. I'm going to use my bling gel glue to use as an adhesive. This stuff works really good. I like using it better than um, gel base, base coat. So, I learned quite a bit as I did a little bit of research on butterflies. There are two main types of butterflies, skippers and true butterflies. And there are over 24,000 species of butterflies. The Queen Alexandra's birdwing is the largest butterfly in the world. It has a wingspan of about 9 inches. And the smallest is the Western Pygmy Blue. Its wingspan is about 0.5 to 0.75 inches. It's native to the western United States. In their adult stage, butterflies can live from a week up to a year, depending on the species. The butterfly with the longest lifespan is the brimstone. It has a lifespan of 9 to 10 months. Most have a very short lifespan of only three to four weeks. Some butterflies hibernate in the winter and then some migrate. The most famous migration are those of the monarch butterfly from Mexico to the northern USA in southern Canada. It's about a distance of 2,500 to 3,000 miles they fly. They can fly up to 50 miles a day. The most widespread butterfly in the world is the Painted Lady, which is found on all continents except South America and Antarctica. 12 miles an hour is the top speed ever reached. How they know that, I don't know. Maybe they had some butterfly races. Um, they can't fly if their body temperature drops below 86 degrees or at temperatures below 55 Fahrenheit. Okay, I have some fun facts. Butterflies have openings in their abdomen called spiracles through which they breathe. They do not have lungs. Butterflies get their color through millions of overlapping scales called shingles. They can still fly if the shingles are removed, but they would lack color. They wouldn't be so beautiful. Females are usually bigger, and they live longer than males. They can see colors such as green, yellow, and red. They have 6,000 lens and can even see ultraviolet light but they are nearsighted. They taste with their feet and they smell with their antennas. A group of them is called a flutter. They drink nectar, sap, and juices from fruit. They drink tears from turtles. Never heard that one. 
Male butterflies drink from mud puddles to extract minerals that aren't available from flowers. This is known as puddling. Some species lay their eggs on only one type of plant. Only one out of a hundred eggs survive in hatches due to disease or getting eaten by insects. They sometimes excrete a red liquid. It is not blood, but pupal fluid, which is waste material produced during the pupal stage, which I seen this last summer when I had a butterfly stuck in the hallway of the garage and it kept hitting the window trying to get out and I thought it was hurt because it was getting red stuff all over the window and I thought it was blood. Well now I know. Well that's it for my fun facts. I'm gonna put some music on, let you enjoy the video and I will see you towards the end.
if you want to attract butterflies in your yard, you can plant a flower garden with red, yellow, orange, pink, or purple blossoms. Plant in a sunny spot in a group so that they cluster. They grow in clusters. You can mash up fruit and sugar and smear it on rocks or trees. I planted zinnias last summer and I took some pictures of a butterfly that was on one of the zinnias I'll put up and show you. Thank you Karina for inviting me to participate in this collaboration. I had a lot of fun and I learned a lot of things about butterflies I didn't know. Thank you very much for watching the video and if you're not subscribed please consider doing so and hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications for when I upload new videos. Have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!